what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so I'm out here today I picked up me a 20,000 pound load cell I've been wanting to get one of these for a while I finally pulled the trigger on it and uh, pick one up so I've seen some videos uh, from Messix and from Tractor Time with Tim doing some load cell tests on some smaller tractors and I can't find any information on bigger tractors so that's what I want to know is what kind of performance specs can you expect out of the bigger tractors and loader lift capacity test and uh, draw bar test and that sort of thing so I got a big enough load cell that we'll be able to test uh, all sorts of stuff as well as weigh all sorts of stuff um, so I'm getting this test set up out here today first test I want to do is uh, two foot out like if you were picking up a pallet a four foot deep pallet and that's how I have the test set up right now with this chain is two foot out I'm a little bit worried about these uh, hay spears I need some pallet forks I don't have any uh, these hay spears are not really meant to pick up that far out um, I'm not going to get too crazy with it but I just want to see and kind of watch and see kind of what kind of pressures we can expect what kind of force we can expect and I'm only going to about five foot because that is pretty much what you need to clip uh, truck bed height over here. If you look at this flat bed in the back, uh, the uh, background over here, five foot is about where you need to get to. The suspension on this truck is going to pick up as I start picking up. Uh, I've got it set. It's about four foot right there. It's going to pick up probably a foot. Um, I'm not worried about the airbags on this truck. This is an old truck uh, used for parts. And those airbags on there are 15 years old. I'm not worried about tearing the airbags up. So. Uh, We've got my Mahindra 8560 here is what we'll be using to test. Uh, it's the ML283 loader I think on this. The Empower has the same basic loader. Uh, I have an 1800 pound bush hog on the back as well as water in the tires. And it's a RCF 3696 bush hog. I'll show you that in a little bit. And uh, anyway, I got the test set up. And as I say, I want to see what we can pick up at five foot level. If you're picking up this kind of weight, you're not necessarily worried about, you know, going all the way up to the peak height. And uh, this is also pretty close to, uh, I think John Deere rates some of their loaders uh, 800 millimeters forward from the pin, which is 31 and a half inches. Um, 31 and a half inches would be there, so we're a little further, even a little more further forward than that on this particular test. So we're going to see what kind of numbers we get here, and then uh, we're going to move the chain back closer to say if you were picking up something like this the way you should pick up but this is for just for if you're trying to unload something off a flatbed or out of the back of a big truck you're curious about what kind of numbers you get off of picking up a normal pallet uh you know like you normally would up to the five foot level to get it clear of the truck to set it down so that's what we're going to do here i'm not sure if you're going to be able to see the scale i may have to zoom in on the scale where you can pick it up um had to wait till this afternoon till the lighting got a little bit better it was bright sun out here earlier and uh, it really throws the focus on my camera up. So I'm gonna pull this cover off of this uh, here and we're gonna put some pressure on this and see what we got. Almost 4,500 pounds. It's bleeding back down now, 4,400. You see how I got it hooked right there? So that's quite a bit. You can see those forks are bowed down. I'm gonna see what we got in the curl. I'm gonna curl it back and see what that does.
Okay, so we're looking at 44, 4,500 pounds right there. Uh, this tractor has had the hydraulic pressure turned up about 10% over factory. And uh, so these numbers that we're seeing here is going to be 10% higher than what you would see on a normal factory off the lot tractor. Um, so we're going to let this down and I'm going to rehook the load cell. I want to hook it up here as if you were tying a chain around your hay spear. Also, this hay spear is obviously two to 300 pounds lighter than a bucket. So that applies into this as well and gives you more lifting force by using pellet forks or hay spear because it's lighter than your bucket. But we're gonna move this chain back as if we were actually trying to pick this up instead of trying to pick up a pallet. Let's see what our lift height here is. Pretty sure it's around five foot. Yeah, out here pretty well. In the tractor manuals, they test at 59 inches. Uh, as you see, 59 inches, because the loader picks up more, I mean, picks up less as you go up. So it picks up more down low. So uh, if you're trying to unload something off a, a truck, that right there will get you there. So I would not be scared to say that I could pick up 4,000, a little over 4,000, 4,200 off a truck uh, without too much issue, as long as it got plenty of ballast on the back. So let me ease this down. We'll go get it rehooked and we'll see what kind of numbers we get up closer to the loader. All right, guys, I've got the second setup done here. This is what you would be doing if you were trying to pick up something off the ground with the chain generally. Um, you would wrap it around the frame of your pallet forks or hay spear. Um, a bucket would be different. I'll do a test on that later over your uh, hooks on your bucket, but it would be closer to what you would get out here because you're coming over the edge of your bucket or having to roll your bucket forward to do so, um, which is fine. But you're gonna get more lift like this up close to the, uh, the pivot pins. And we're still probably 10 or 12 inches forward of the pivot pins where they actually test at. But uh, we're gonna get what you would get normally picking up right here uh, off the frame of your pallet forks, hay spear, whatever you got on there. If you're picking up something with a chain to lift it up off the ground, um, again, we're gonna go probably at about five foot here or so, or if it'll pick it up a little higher, we'll go a little higher. Whatever we got, uh, this is what I got to, you know, pick up. So that's what we're working with. I'll show you the uh, bush hog we got back here as well for counterweight. This is a uh, eight foot land pride. Uh, says this weighs 1800 pounds. I have not weighed it, but that's what they say, 36.96. Have water in both rear tires as well. So uh, we're gonna see what kind of numbers we can get here. at over a thousand pounds difference there. It's bleeding off, but we're, we were over 5,600 pounds there. I should be filming this with two cameras, but I'm trying to get this hurried up and done before dark. But you see where we have it uh, out there, what we're doing? I got it hooked up around the frame. This chain's just left over to get it, keep it from hanging. But now we're going to move it back. I'm going to move back uh, and tie on this bar right here and roll it back. Roll the uh, forks back to try to get in line with this pivot pin right here. Uh, and then we'll see what she'll pick up. All right, guys, I've got uh, the third test set up here. Now I've got this tied on to the pipe right here that comes off of your quick attach. And this is not really a tie point. You can bend this pipe. Hopefully we don't, but uh, that is a possibility. So probably wouldn't recommend tying on this. Uh, I mean, use some common sense. You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Some tractors have a bigger pipe here than others. Uh, some have a little bitty small piece of pipe. Just kind of use some common sense there. It's not a recommended tie point, but I've got the, uh, 
the bucket curled all the way back so to try to get this over the top of the pins uh, to get a good measurement at the pins what we're getting and uh, that's how I got it set up and so we're gonna take it up see how high she'll lift um, I've been being about five foot which is the measurement we want or pretty close to that so let's see what she's got thousand nine hundred and sixty pounds and that's got the truck way up off the ground uh, this truck does not have any fuel in the fuel tanks otherwise we would get be getting a bigger number or we wouldn't be picking it up at all um, because obviously that's about all the tractors got there that's well over five foot right there so uh, we're looking at six thousand pound number right there so we're looking at just over 6,000 pounds there. I let it down some closer to the ground right there. And it gets lighter, um, just like when you're picking up a wheel bar, the higher you can pick it up, uh, it gets easier to pick up, but your loader gets less able to pick up the higher you go. So there's a, a force kind of fighting each other right there. But it's over 6,000 pounds right there uh, on a load scale right now. All right, so let's take a look at our pipe here. It does not appear that we bend anything. It looks straight, just as straight as it did. Scratched it up a little bit. That's fine. It's already scratched up. Um, you can, if you need to pick up more on certain tractors uh, that has this, there's another pipe behind this right here that's uh, well over a foot back. You can also tie onto it if need be. A lot of tractors don't have that and you can't tie onto this one up here because of the hydraulic hoses and stuff and a lot of the tractors only have one pipe across here and it'll be this here and they will have uh you know all your hydraulic lines you cannot tie onto that um, obviously you're going to take a chance at damaging your loader if you do this do so at your own risk do some common sense but uh that's what you can expect out of a Mahindra 8560 or Empower 85. This is a 283 loader. I think the 285 loader specs are the same. It's just uh, goes on the Empower 85, but very strong loader. As I say, I have turned the uh, hydraulic pressure up. There's a video on my channel of me doing that and uh, increasing the hydraulic pressure about 10%, which is about 260 or 70 pounds. All right, guys, that's the three tests I wanted to do uh, today. It's all I have time for. It's starting to get dark. It's going to get hard to uh, see. I need to go ahead and get this stuff unhooked and everything. I'll be doing some different types of tests and stuff with this in the future. And I have a friend that's got a couple tractors, and he may want to weigh something to test some of his stuff. I'll have to get with him to find out. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff unhooked. That's pretty impressive numbers if you ask me. I need to find something to uh, tie my chain down to anchor point like in a floor or something other pulling out of the ground that i can test at multiple heights this is just all i had here's the old big truck to hook onto it's the heaviest thing the lowest uh to the ground that i could think of to tie on to to check and see uh you know and that's pretty impressive that that'll pick that up that's six thousand pounds right there uh off of the you know pivot point it's not even quite on the pivot point it's still a little bit forward of the pivot point 
And uh, we could get a little more if we pull the pallet forks off for the hay spear off, because that's probably 300 pounds. As well, if we come on back to that next pipe behind there, we could get even more than that. If we had to, and whatever we were picking up wasn't close enough to the tractor, it's gonna hit the front of the tractor. But uh, there's definitely some options there, and you can do a lot with uh, a tractor this size. And uh, I would not want to drive it anywhere with that kind of weight out there. It's a lot of weight, and it's a lot of stress on that front axle and tractor. So I uh, wouldn't want to go very far distance, but as far as unloading something heavy off a truck or uh, you know going at real slow speed, moving something across the yard, I would be pretty confident that I could pick up two tons off, the, uh, off of that flatbed right there, you know, 4,000 plus pounds, and uh, get it off of there and set it on the ground and get it moved where I need it to go. And uh, as I say, once again, I have increased the hydraulic pressure up uh, about 10% on this particular tractor. So it is a little bit stronger than what a tractor off the lot this size would be. Uh, with that being said, wrap this video up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, one more thing. Link in the description on the 20,000 pound load sale. They make these in all different sizes. If you're interested in them, I'll put a link for this particular one I got here. And uh, this is the 20,000 pound model. It is quite massive. Uh, you cannot tell in the pictures how big it is. These are inch and quarter eye bolts. And uh, you can see you can put three fingers in there. It's the size of your hand. And uh, kind of get an idea of the size of it. And this is a 20,000 pound model. So uh, link in the description if you're uh, interested in purchasing one of these for any test you'd like to do.